JMC Creates. My name is Jackie McKissick and today we're going to make another version of this card. Now I did get carried away with this card. <laughs> I really like this stencil set. It is awesome. And I have created three beautiful cards with it. And I am about to do another one. And I shall show you how quick and easy you can make a card with a stencil set. So we'll need our we'll need our mat. I'm going to make a A6 one again. Okay, and this is the stencil set that I got. And it looks terrible on there. Them colours are so dreary. Oh my word. But when I put it together, I was va va vim amazing how well it looked. Okay, so I'm just lining the edge of that up with the edge of this. Now, I need to decide what colours I use, but I didn't think about that when I started. So let's just try a yellow. I haven't done yellow as a base yet. I've done, what did I do? I did a blue, a purple, and then an another faded purple one. So we're going to do yellow. And I'm going to start with whatever ink is on my brush and take it from there because this is the background. It's not the foreground. You don't really want it standing out. So you don't. You just want it there. You can see it, but it doesn't dominate. The picture is what we're looking for. Okay. And I love these little flat-headed round brushes that you get for stenciling. I think they work so well for stenciling. Okay, so that's that bit. Then we're going to go in with a little bit of wild honey and see if we get some dimension, some shading in at the base of the petals. That's what we're looking for, shading in at the base of the petals. You know, you don't want a whole lot on, you just want it there. You need to be able to see it, but not have it stand out from the crowd. And for each of these, this is a three layered stencil. And for each of them, I used two colors. I did. This one here takes the longest, I think. And sometimes there are little delicate bits in your stencils, like this bit here. And all you have to do is lightly, lightly, very lightly and build up your colour. You don't want to go in heavy handed, you want to go in lightly and build up your colour. Okay, let's just see. There we go. Perfect. Perfectly perfect. Right. So next we have our 
leaves. And once again, I am lining this up with the edges. So, let me see. I'm going to try Twisted Citron. And I can go in with a heavy layer of this. Because this is my lightest layer. Okay, and once again I am going to be using a darker layer for shadow, depth and dimension. Okay, right, you just want to make sure you've got some in all those bits. Okay, right, now we have green. So we're going to try some bundled sage. I don't, I don't use this colour nearly enough. I don't I do want to end at the base of them leaves okay Once again, if you've got wee fiddly bits, just start lightly and build up your colour. It is much better to take your time to build up your colour. So, I would like to say thank you to everybody who makes the effort to watch my videos and those who make the effort to thumbs up and comment because if it wasn't for that I wouldn't bother anymore there we go Let's just investigate and see how we're coming along. Excellent. Perfectly perfect. Right, what is next then? Next then are our flowers. Right, so these bits here need to be lined up on those wee stalks that are there. Okay. So, what colour will, what colour will we do them? So we've done them yellow, we've done them pink, and we've done them purple. So blue, let's try the blue. Okay, so I don't know if a speckled egg is going to be strong enough, but I'm going to give it a go. Yes, it does, it works. You have to be careful because I'm only doing these flowers at the minute. I'm not doing the other one. I'm doing two separate colours. Sometimes you need to twirl your brush one way and sometimes you need to twirl it another way just to get the colour where you want it. There we go. Right, we're done with that. Now, no, 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 no. I wonder, 
a salvage patina woodwork. Hmm, not bad. Okay. Ooh, I must remember I'm only, I'm only doing it at the bottom of the stalks. I'm not doing it at the top of them. What are these kind of flowers anyway? I know I've seen ones like that, but I'm not really a flower person. David would buy them now and again for me, but... It's not something I have a lot of time for <laughs> although I do like I do like looking at my garden and being all nice and tidy which is not at the minute David is in the process of getting ready to repaint the deck so yes so we do the flowers pink Let's try sponge sugar. I haven't used sponge sugar. This is a really peel colour. I'm not sure if it will stand up over the yellow, but ah, we're not too bad. We're doing okay. Okay. And there only are the five little flowers on this stencil set. You can use any stencil that you have. If you have a one layer stencil, get yourself some of these wee fine brushes. I got mine from AliExpress quite some time ago. And you can go in and separate flowers. Right, worn lipstick for the base. You don't want to go up too high. You just want a bit of definition at the base. Okay, time for the big reveal. Du, 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 du. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, it's Gorgeous, I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. Now we need to find a bit of card for my layer and a sentiment. Back in a gif. Right, we're back. Now I have cut this down to three and three quarters by five and three eighths and I'm matting it on a pink card that is four by five and five eighths and that is going on my card base which is eight and a quarter by five and three quarters scored at four and one eighth. And it's just going to sit on there like that. I have taken a die from my stash and cut it out in the same pink cardstock. And where do I want to put that? I want to put it there. I believe I want to put it there. So I'm using my collal glue because it takes much, well not much longer, but it gives me a little bit more wiggle room time. And then once you're stuck, you're stuck. Pucker up, buttercup. Just going to set that on there. Okay. 
the spa chalet for ya. Right. It is time, folks. It is time for James. So it is we're putting on some jams. Let's start with I wonder I think that's too Would that green go? Would that green work? Let me see. Sure, why not? Be brave, Jackie. Just go with it. It matches the citrus green. Okay, but I need a pink, but I need a peel pink. I don't need a va va vum pink. I need a... Not in your face pink, like that one, there. Okay. And what else? Am I going to go for yellow? Am I going to be brave and go for yellow? They call it mellow yellow. Sure, why not? Let's add some more bright stuff. Let's buzz it up. Right. Okay, so that's that's my card done. Okay, and where is the others? There is a pink and yellow. This one's a blue and purple. This one's a purple and yellow. And this one's a pink and blue. So pretty much every color under the sun. You can do it. I love this stencil. I could play with this stencil all blink and day. Or stencil say it. So, anyway, enough blathering and enough me looking at these and saying, God, I made that. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> so, anyway, thank you for stopping by. Greatly appreciate it. Thumbs up, etc. And I hope you're all safe and well. Till next time. Jaggy out.